So now this is now the first long form video content that I make. Well, I think it's been over a year now already. So anyway, today we are talking about my top five essential items for a freelance videographer that I use, me personally, on a daily basis. So at number one, we have the 24 to 105 the Canon EF mount. So this is my go-to daily, daily lens that I use most of the time. And the only reason why is because it's the most versatile lens that I use on my Sony ZV-E10 as well as on my Canon 5D Mark II. Super happy that it's got stabilization on the lens as well. Um, when I'm using it on the Sony, I mainly put it on manual focus. So the adapter that I use for converting the EF mount to the E mount on my Sony, it doesn't allow auto focusing on video. Well, it does, but it's not good at all. So I just chuck it onto manual and that's the best way that I found to use it. And to me, honestly, that lens is an all around good lens for everything that I do. So now, number two. So number two, we have the Hollyland Lark M2. I was fortunate enough to win this on a competition and I absolutely love this mic. I'm currently wearing it as we speak. Uh, this is my go-to mic for interviews, for creating content, for chucking it on the phone, for anything that I need it for. This wireless system is amazing for me. And honestly, for the price point, it's good. I'm happy with it. It looks like a little badge. You can hardly see it anywhere. And I know a lot of people don't like wireless microphones, but me personally, I just love the convenience of it. And I think it is perfect, especially this one. So that's number two for me. Let's go to number three. So number three is going to be a bit hard to show you guys. But it is the camera that I'm shooting on right now, this one right here. That is my Sony ZV-E10. I bought that about a year ago when my Canon M50 gave up. Um, I decided to go this one to the Sony route and I am more than happy with this. For the price point that I paid for this camera, I am more than happy with the capability of the camera. So I use it for podcasting now as well. And I think it's one amazing capable camera for the price point. So item number four. At number four, we have the gimbal. I know a lot of people don't use the gimbal. I use mine quite a bit. And the only reason why I use it so much is for real estate videography. So with real estate videography, it's got to be smooth. It's got to be clean. And that's one of the services that I offer. That is the best way to get it. So that gets used on the daily. I'm super happy with the approaches that I made on that. I still don't use it for my own passion projects, but I definitely use it for work projects. And last but not least, we have an external hard drive. Now, since I started shooting in 4K instead of HD 1080, it's been taking up crazy amounts of space. So now an external hard drive is a must and I currently have three sitting behind me there, uh, two two terabytes and one one and a half terabyte. And I know that's not a lot. We'll be upgrading more and more, but there's no explanation needed on why you need hard drives. It's one of the most important things. I mean, especially if you're backing up clients work as well. So there you have it. So that's it for me. That was my top five essential items for a video freelance videographer for me that I use on a daily basis. So comment down below. Let me know what is yours. What's your top item that you use on a daily basis or the item that you are happy that you purchased and I would love to go and check it out. Till next time, guys. See you again.